Hi, I'm going to do a problem from the 7.5 worksheet. This is requested from me from a student. This was the uh, very last problem. It was a partial fracture decomposition. I'll just give a hint on the solutions, but I can go over this entire problem. I first want to look at the denominator. Ignore the integrand for a moment. And notice right there, x minus 1 squared, that is a linear term repeated. And then x squared plus 1, the other part of the denominator, that is a quadratic term that is uh, irreducible. You cannot factor that anymore. So the uh, setup for repeated linear terms is to write this as a over x minus 1 plus b over x minus 1 squared. I like to think if we're, um, I'll write this out in the third term, then I got the uh, quadratic term x squared plus 1, and then I need to have a, or a cx plus d. So no, it doesn't matter the order which I write these down, but I need to make sure that always helped me to think that the denominator, if I were to expand this all, I'd have a fourth degree polynomial, because x squared, x squared. So I need to have uh, four variables to solve for, a, b, c, d. Okay, and um, I'm going to clear out the denominator, multiplying this entire thing by x minus 1 squared, x squared plus 1. So on the left side, everything goes away except the 1. On the right-hand side, for a, I have an x minus 1 left over, and I still have an x squared plus 1. For b, x squared minus 1 completely cancels out, but I still have an x squared plus 1. And then for cx plus d, I want to keep that entire term in parentheses x plus d, and then here the x squared plus 1 term cancels, and I'm left with an x minus 1 squared. If it helps, uh, you know, expand this uh, app completely to cancel to see how we get this. And now I need to figure out what my uh, variables are, a, b, c, and d. And this should work for any value of x. So I start plugging in values for x. I'm going to start with 1 because that will clear out two of these terms completely. So in other words, 1's going to equal, this goes away completely. B, I get 1 squared plus 1, so that's a 2. And then this whole term cancels out. So here I get 1 equals 2B. So on the side I'll write B equals 1 half. Underline that, keep track of that, because I mean you need to enter that back in the equation. And here now, that's the only way I could completely delete a, a term. So now I just need to try different points. Almost always zero is a good point to check. It makes computation easy, and it's going to make a lot of the terms disappear. So 1 equals, I don't know what a is, but I'll have a minus 1 right here, and then a 1 when I plug in 0 for x, plus b I know is 1 half. I'm going to plug in a 0, so it just ends up being a 1. And what's nice about plugging in 0, now the c term disappears. I get 0. And then I'm left with a d. And when I plug in 0 for 1, I get a minus 1 squared, which would just become a positive 1. So here I have 1 equals minus a plus a half, and then plus d. All right, so I have two variables, so I cannot solve for this right away. So I could subtract 1 half from both sides of the equation. So I have 1 half equals. Uh, minus a plus d. Okay, so I need to keep track of this. So I have an equation right here, but by itself I can't solve for anything. So I'm going to plug in another point. Let's see, how about x equals 2? I'm just picking 2 fairly arbitrarily. So 1 is going to equal a, and if I put in 2 right here, that just becomes a 1, and then 2 squared plus 1 is 5. B I know is 1 half. 2 squared is 4 plus 1 is 5. And now I'm going to have a C, unfortunately, but I'll have a C times 2. I'm going to write 2C plus D. And right next to that, if I have 2 minus 1, that just becomes 1. So now I want to clean this up. I have right here 5 halves, so I'm going to subtract 5 halves from both sides of the equation. Let's see, that's 2 halves minus 5 halves, that's minus 3 halves equals 5a. 
and then I have plus 2c and plus d. All right, so on the side here, I want to keep track of what we have. I've got one equation. I'm going to write this as 1 half equals minus a plus d. And now I have minus, excuse me, 3 halves equals 5a plus 2c plus d. So with this type of problem, I've got three different variables, a, d, and c. So I actually need three equations. Two equations are not going to work. So I need to get one more equation on here. So I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to keep this. Pick another point. I picked one, zero, two. I could pick three. Let's see, maybe I'll pick uh, minus one to have that um, one equals a times minus two. If I plug in minus one here squared, that becomes just one, so I get another two. Um, B I know is one half. Minus one squared is one, so that becomes a two. And then right here, I'm gonna throw a minus one for C, so that'll be a negative C plus D, and then that'll be a minus two uh, squared. So I have one, equals minus 4a plus 1, and then this will be positive 4. So this will end up being a minus 4c plus 4d. All right, let's subtract 1, the constant. So I have 0 equals minus 4a minus 4c plus 4d. And to connect that, now I've got three equations, so I could uh, try to connect that with these. I also have um, minus 3 halves equals 5a plus 2c plus d. And then I also have the 1 half equals minus a plus d. So I want to take these two and eliminate c. So now we're doing equation solving. Because I have a and d in this equation, or this equation right here, I could multiply this entire second equation by 2. And the reason why I'm doing that is I'll cancel out the c. So I'll get a minus 3 equals a 10a plus 4c plus 2d. And then I'm going to rewrite that first equation right here. 0 equals minus 4a minus 4c plus 4d. Minus three, and now when I add, I'm going to add these two together because these the c's will cancel out. I get ten minus four, six a, and plus six d. All right, so now I'm going to bring back this equation. The first equation we got, one half equals minus a plus d, and you can solve this by solving for a and plug it in the other equation. I like to do the elimination method. If I multiply everything by 6, then I'll get a 3 equals a minus 6a and then plus a 6d. Rewrite this equation. I'm going to add these together. Add to cancel, and I'm going to get a 12d equals 0. So all this breaks down. I have now d equals 0. And now um, we'll be able to get all the rest of these variables. All right here. If d is 0, I still have 1 half equals minus a plus d. So a equals minus a equals 1 half, or a equals minus 1 half, d equals 0, um, b equals 1 half. And then finally, we need to solve for c get our last variable. And I can pick any of these uh, equations to make this work. Let's see, so I'll pick this one right here. I have 0 equals minus 4 times a minus 4c and then plus 4d is 0. 
So this ends up being 0 equals 2 minus 4c. If I subtract 2 from both sides, I get minus 4c, and then divide by minus 4 to get c equals 1 half. Okay, so putting this all together, A is minus one half, B we got to be one half, C is one half, and D is zero. So when we integrate this, I'm going to have minus one half over x minus one plus one half over x minus one squared, and then plus one half x over x squared plus 1 dx becomes a new integral. And uh, it's nice to think about this as three integrals, minus 1 half x, 1 over x minus 1 dx, plus 1 half integral of 1 over x minus 2 squared dx. And then lastly, 1 half integral of x over x squared plus 1 dx. So I'm just going to get 1 half the natural log of some value of x minus 1 for the first integral, and then plus 1 half. So if I think about this integral as the integral of x minus 1 to the minus 2, I can use a power rule right here to write this as x minus 1 to the minus 1, all divided by minus 1. And then in the third integral, if I let u equal x squared plus 1, du will end up being 2x dx, or if I move the 2 over, 1 half du cancels out with dx. So I'll write this as u substitution first. This actual 1 half in the x, the x dx equals 1 half du. And again, and that's going to be over u. So put this all together, 1 half natural log absolute value of x minus 1 plus 1 half. So let's rewrite this as minus 1 half and then 1 over x minus 1. Just rewrite an exponent. And then lastly, this will be 1 quarter, multiplying the halves, times the natural log of u, where u is x squared plus 1, and then plus c. Okay. 